This is the Dragonfly 4 Pro sonar and GPS. The box says it comes with Navionics Gold, but actually what comes in the box is the Navionics Plus, which is the newer version. So at about $275 with tax from Amazon. This obviously is the transponder. So installation was pretty straightforward. I put it uh, next to the steering wheel here. It's not really going to be in the way. Um, it is on a, a ball and socket mount so you can tighten it up right where you want it. Alright, so there's no transducer hooked up right now, but you can see um, it does have the temperature here in the corner. It's just funny how we've gotten so used to super high resolution screens and super fast phones, and this is neither of those, but it's it's fine. It takes a little bit for it to figure out where it's at, and that's no biggie. Um, here's, I don't know, Random Lake, uh, and you can see that it does have a lot of detail on it. All right, and of course this comes with like a uh, wireless Wi-Fi, so which set up without any trouble. Let's see, yeah, so that's that. Just uh, identify the Wi-Fi signal and download the app. And then what it'll do is it will actually, so you can see it's got the chart going here, it will mirror that here you can do it doesn't just mirror it it actually is sending those signals so you can do whatever you want now the map function I don't think that's data from the machine I think that's just data in the phone but I could be wrong um, I'll have to check that but um, it's pretty cool so you could use your phone or you could use a tablet uh, you could frankly take that Navionics chip stick it in your tablet uh, have that uh, for your map and then also have you know the ability to to mirror the sonar images as well all right so I just am turned on the simulated data mode and uh, you can again recreate that on your phone I mean presumably it'd be real data someday um, but totally cool so uh, and again the, the your auxiliary screen can be totally independent of the main unit so you can have your map displayed here and you can have the sonar information here multiple people can have the sonar information um, in the boat or have multiple screens um, you know with all the leftover screens that we've got whether they're tablets or old phones um, it really gives you a lot of flexibility um, for just such an affordable price really happy with it so uh, I look forward to actually being able to fish sometime next spring. Now, the hard part is I gotta wait like five months until the ice goes away. Huh. Well, in the meantime, I guess I'll do some simulated fishing. It's not really all that much different from real fishing, is it? <laughs> 